up during the processor, right? Yeah. 1980. Here's where our brain is still here. And our brain, let's go now from 1980 to 2020. Our brains are still here. Computing powers. Just off the charts. Off the charts. Um, so if you could implant that in your head, already what you, what you have here is 20, I'd say 100 to, to 200, maybe even 300 times more powerful than the computers that, that put the first men on the moon. Wow. Yeah. Wow. They were nothing. They were like, they were glorified calculators. Wow. Um, this is, this thing in your hand is beyond anything that anybody could have, in terms of pure computing power. That makes Apollo 13 all the more amazing. Apollo 13 was absolutely incredible that they were able to do. And it just goes to show you, it's a really good point, Mikey. It goes to show you that, well, do you remember the German engineer? And they said, um, who was developing the program, they brought him in and, and they said, most people said it was impossible. He said, it's not possible because we have to do it. So in other words, that is the, that is the, 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 it's the sheer power of the human. That's what makes humans off the charts, incredible versus anything else in this universe. We have the ability right. to create anything that we can, can think of is doable. Like anything that we can dream and imagine is ultimately doable with the right per persistence. And Think maybe like it. the other things that other people came up with. Persistence, perseverance, uh, a can-do attitude, just willing to be able to fail over and over and over and over again until you get it right. Um, because that's the only way that you learn is by failing. You have to fail. If you don't fail, you're not trying, right? So that is the that is a testament that they were able to get. We haven't done it since. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we've got so much technology at our fingertips and it's still difficult to do. And they basically did it with like duct tape and gum. Exactly. <laughs> And, and and have you ever been to the Air and Space Museum in DC? Not in DC, but we went to a cool museum in Ohio. Okay, cool. Um, it's awesome when you can see the real Apollo capsules there and just standing like 10 feet away from them. And, um, like and you, actually, another... you can look inside what these guys were sitting in for days orbiting. They were like in these, oh my God, they were so tight. They were like, claustrophobic tight. Yeah. And, and they were orbiting the planet at like crazy speeds. These guys were brave. I mean, imagine sitting yourself on top of basically a missile. Yeah, that's literally what they did. <laughs> and being thrown into space. No way of knowing if you're ever going to get back. If anything right. goes wrong while you're, I mean, Apollo 13, look what happened while they were up there. It was like a mess and they were able to get back down. Um, so it, it really does show you that, here's a great analogy for why persistence conquers all. Um, if you watch, if you, you guys are out near the deserts and you've seen the, the giant, the stones that have been molded. And right, yeah. That's that's millions of years of persistent water flow. So water, and and water soft water given enough time erodes a rock, a hard rock. Right. So that's so always like, the analogy they use for persistence. Never give up, right? Because if you never quit, you'll win. Right. If if you just say to yourself, I won't just will not quit, it might take twenty years. But eventually you'll get there. And it's also about momentum. So let's use the space analogy again. Anything that you do in life, so if you think about an Elon Musk who has these giant dreams and visions, right? They seem impossible. Um, like how in the world are we gonna do this? But the biggest mountains, a man can move a mountain starting with one pebble at a time. So oh, yes. when you think of, of a momentum, if you stay dedicated to a task, over time, what happens? So think about launching a rocket. It's a great analogy. We're talking about space. 
90% of the energy expended is in the, is in the liftoff. Right. Okay. It's hard. Getting started is hard, right? And you can see but it's like really slow starting and then like starting a like, locomotive. It's way up there, but it's only here. But now when you, but once you get through momentum, it uses one tenth of the energy to, to, to take it to Mars once it's broken our atmosphere because it's got momentum right it broke gravity but it took all of that thrust to get it off the launch pad and and build momentum so the same applies to anything that you do in life if you just keep going and just take the first steps which might be hard but if you just know that over time things start to work and then you it's like the locomotive too those right. big old steam engines back in the day weighed tons, tons right. to get those wheels to start turning took an immense amount of power. But once it was going, it just goes, right? right. And, and then think about it. Also, when you're first starting out, little obstacles can get in your way and they can stop you, right? But when right. you've got momentum, when that freight train's barreling down those tracks at you know 300 miles an hour, and something gets in its way, boom, gone. It's, not it's yeah. got it's got momentum. You can apply those same laws of physics with your own life and how you go after your dreams. It's hard doing doing worthwhile things is really hard, but that's what makes it worthwhile. Right. Anybody can coast. Yeah. All right. You come around once. You live once, right? I know you guys think life is forever, but trust me, at a guy at 54, let me give you a thing, a thing that I thought about the other day, and it's why I do what I do with you guys. And then I'll zip my, my soapbox. But, okay, so 9-11 just happened, right? So yeah. I remember where I was very vividly. I was 33 years old when 9-11 happened. All right. So I was already an adult and and I was just about to marry my wife. Now, if, if you told me when I stopped and went, that was 19 years ago, I went, oh, my gosh, like, yeah, when I stop and think about all that's happened. All right. But at the same time, 19, 20 years, like really 20 years. Wow. Then what makes me scared is I go, wait a minute. Time only goes by faster as you get older. You mean in the same amount of time, which might feel like even faster, I'm going to be 74? Like, like, wow. And so that is my way of saying, don't waste your time on dumb stuff. Explore, go out, enjoy the world. The world's meant to be enjoyed. But, you know, you come around once, make the best of it. You got an incredible world around you, so much opportunity because most people don't. And the people that just take a little bit of initiative excel, they win, right? Because most people don't. Most people let fear put them in a state of inertia. Those that embrace fear, all good things are on the other side of fear. All right. good stuff is on the other side of fear. If you walk through, why do you think in, in mythology, the pot of gold's behind the dragon lair? It's a because metaphor. Because you can't just have a free pot of gold. Don't just walk in and get the gold. You gotta, you gotta battle the dragon, right? So all that good stuff that you want, all the, whether it be, whether it be, tangible things oh, it be self-fulfillment or going to mars or doing something that's changing the world all that stuff really hard but it's really worthwhile it's worth right. the effort all right i'm gonna let you guys go i hope you guys had a good day fist bump boom fist bump. we need awesome. to post that recording on youtube that was just a lot of like that, that needs to be put on youtube thoughts. and just oh deep thoughts man i'm all about deep thoughts guys <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 you guys I, are I, awesome. I'm gonna, that. I'm gonna post it. You'll be able to watch it all back again. Okay. Okay. okay.
Thanks. Right, take Thanks, care. Bye. Bye. Oh, bye. Good to see you.